Hello and welcome to Flickstick. I'm Zach and in today's video I'm going to be discussing a recent news release over on Verizon's website that discusses their involvement with Ally, an incubator that is working with startups that are trying to focus on technology that utilizes 5G or could be heavily impacted by the release of 5G. To begin this video, I first wanted to discuss what this actually means for Liquid Sky. So of course, the first major bullet point is the additional funding will allow Liquid Sky to continue to develop their core application. This is awesome news because their streaming client hasn't been the best experience since the release of Liquid Sky 2.0. There have been some bugs that have been persistent and haven't been addressed, as well as the fact that there's just some general user experience things that could be greatly approved upon. So it does look though like we are going to get some fixes we've been asking for for a while because in their Discord community, Little Sky has been talking about a new streaming update that will actually roll out over time, but we'll have a lot of fixes, including fixes for the security issue that I talked about last week, but also just general improvements to have a much better user experience with a more stable and reliable experience. So all in all, that's great news. But what is really interesting with this news release from Verizon is the fact that Liquid Sky has access to 5G technology and in fact has had access to this 5G technology since December of last year when they joined Ali and of course Verizon 2 in their co-working space. So this is very cool news because 5G does have the possibility and the power to massively change how we interact with the internet by making us more mobile with a very fast and low latency connection. So to really understand why this announcement is so interesting, we first need to understand 5G technology and the advancements that it brings to the table and how that actually impacts cloud gaming. So if you boil things down and kind of simplify 5G versus 4G and possibly oversimplify things, but if you do that, then you're essentially left with three key improvements of 5G over 4G. And those three key improvements are the bandwidth that 5G will be able to support, the lower latency, which is very important for cloud gaming, but I'll get to that a little bit later, and the number of connections. So the number of connections aren't super important for cloud gaming, but it will allow more devices to connect and hopefully not overly congest the network which is going to be key with more IoT devices and connected cars coming online in the future. So the second major advancement for 5G technology is the bandwidth throughput that it will be able to support. So as a theoretical maximum, 5G will be able to support anywhere from 10 gigabit per second to 20 gigabit per second. Of course, this is just a theoretical maximum. And as a comparison, 4G technology is supposed to have a theoretical maximum of around one gigabit per second. So we're looking at at least a tenfold increase to the theoretical maximum. Of course, in the real world, our 4G network, at least in the US, has an average connection speed of 16.3 megabit per second. So much, much lower than the theoretical maximum of one gigabit per second. However, if we consider the tenfold increase to the theoretical maximum, we could be looking at a real world benefit of 163 megabit per second, which is a very good increase. And for a very solid 1080p 60 FPS experience for pretty much all cloud gaming services that I've tested, if you can achieve a solid 30 megabit per second connection, you can very have a very good experience on cloud gaming. Of course, that 16.3 is able to achieve a good experience in cloud gaming, but you might have to take the settings down to 720p or sacrifice a little bit in terms of quality. So having a much faster internet connection while on the go is definitely going to improve the cloud gaming experience by having a better overall quality and able to easily achieve that 1080p 60 FPS that is kind of the golden standard of gaming. Of course, that golden standard is kind of changing to higher refresh rates and higher resolution. But at least at the point, this point in time, a lot of people still game on 1080p monitors. So having able being able to easily achieve that while on the go is going to be a very welcome improvement for mobile networks. So the final improvement for 5G networks is likely going to have the largest impact on cloud gaming, and that is the latency improvements. So 5G technology is going to support a theoretical minimum latency of one milliseconds 
In comparison, 4G technology supports a theoretical minimum latency of around 50 milliseconds. So we're talking about a 50x improvement or rather a 50 times decrease in the theoretical minimum latency. And that is gonna be massive for cloud gaming because minimizing the latency between you and your cloud gaming computer is gonna be key to, have a, to having a great cloud gaming experience. And if you are gaming on that 1080p 60 Hertz monitor to not actually lose a, a frame of interactivity and have the maximum responsiveness, they need to be able to transmit your keyboard or mouse actions over the internet to the cloud gaming server, actually have the server perform those actions, encode that frame and transmit it back to you and have it decoded on your local machine in 16 milliseconds. So having very little network latency added to that is gonna be key to having the most responsive experience out there. Of course, I have gamed on connections upwards of 60 to 70 milliseconds because I have gamed on 4G connections and it was playable, but if you are playing a more competitive game, you wanna minimize the latency that is actually impacting your performance and being able to have a one-to-one -one ratio of screens where the action you take is actually rendered on the next frame would be massive for cloud gaming and having a very, very responsive experience, especially for Twitch games that require, you know, very quick action and have having a very fast response um, time, on, you know, in those games. So very cool news for the future of cloud gaming. And it's awesome to hear that Liquid Sky has their hands on 5G and it's gonna be very interesting to see what they actually do with that technology and with that opportunity. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was both informative as well as entertaining. And once again, guys, thanks for watching. We really do appreciate your support of Flickstick with both likes, subscribes, as well as comments in the section below. All of that helps grow the community in general and get the Flickstick name out there. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, Zach out.